Good morning everyone. So today is the second Sunday, not in a row, but I mean another Sunday with brilliant conditions here in Saxony. We are facing really freezing, freezing, freezing weather. Since I think one week or something like that, it's minus 10, minus 5, minus 15, it doesn't get more than that. Everything is freezing. My car is completely freezing. I, I had something like 15 minutes to to try, you know, to make it warm, to remove all the frost. Oh, that the conditions are are unbelievable. I I think I think I think I don't remember. This is the first thing, uh, the first time, the first time in my life I see frost and sunrise together. Also, uh, frost and fog, for example, or frost and cloudy, but frost and sunrise this is the first time in my life I see something like that. So this is the first photo I will try taking. I really like, oh, I like the combination of the sunlight on the snow or on the frost, actually. And yeah, I, I really like it, the, 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 the brilliant sunlight as it's uh, getting up right now with the beautiful brown color of the trees and uh, the white color of the frost I really like this combination I will try to take it so easy handheld with my 50 millimeter lens yeah let's try and see how it will be not to oh the, the mic is getting in my face in order not to get me wrong <laughs> the, the, the weather is brilliant only only for taking photos but for our kids it's oh it, a lot of people are sick a lot of people are sick are sick at work there's always 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 problem because a lot of people are missing a lot of people are sick uh, my kids every every two three days they are sick again they get better they get healthy again they are sick again me too my wife the, the, the weather is disaster for for you know for everyday life going to work and yeah uh, but for taking photos for landscape photography for woodland photography the, the conditions are brilliant only for that but for everyday life or oh, you, you you just get bored from this unbelievable cold weather I'm, I'm standing here actually I don't want to move because I I'm thinking about a photo right here but I don't know how how to compose it I like I like the tree but the background behind the tree is a little bit distracting and I don't want to include it in the photo but the, the tree itself how it how it's so white and catching the sunlight is really so beautiful So as you could see, this is the tree that I'm talking about, this one here, but as I was standing there, this is my tribal, <laughs> as I was standing there, the background was this black tree here, or a little bit black, and another tree, and I don't, I don't want it, they were blocking, blocking the tree, and I want, I want it to be a little bit alone, it doesn't actually work as I want, I will try to go back from this, uh, the first place where I started to feel that the tree look beautiful I mean from here as you know as you can see the bath here and oh, I, I will try with the 50 millimeter lens I'm really not sure but I like you know sunlight hitting the tree from the side with the bath here and the frost oh, I will try to take it with the 50mm lens as the last photo handheld <coughs> I have unfortunately a very big problem 
I don't know what happened with my D90. I think because of the cold. Uh, the problem is, uh, uh, is with memory card. I try to take a photo. I can't take a photo. But after one second, uh, the screen uh, give a message. Image doesn't contain uh, data fi uh, uh, file data, something like that. Image the file doesn't contain image data, uh, and <coughs> the photo disappear. I try to format uh, the memory card. <coughs> I couldn't. I try to use this. Uh, memory card of my Sony camera <coughs> on my Nikon D90 but the Nikon D90 couldn't see the memory card I don't know why be maybe because it's a new card and my Nikon D90 is this card is I think uh, uh, 64 gigabyte and my Nikon D90 couldn't see it I don't know why actually uh, oh, yeah uh, I tried, as I said, I tried to format my Nikon D90 card, but I couldn't. The last two photos that you saw, actually, I took with my Sony camera. Now I am making videos with my Sony camera and I am taking photos with it. Now, uh, luckily, it has a RAW file. I could, I could. This is the first time I tried to to see the option, the setting of the of the uh, still photos because I only use it for video actually only for flogging video flogging and uh, the DSLR camera for photos but now I have I, I must <laughs> try to find how to take raw file or raw photos with it <coughs> because I, I can't right now going home I can't go go home I can't I can't I can't go home <sighs> and get another memory card. I am really so disappointed. This is a very big challenge for me now. This is not, it is not bad as I think something like 20, 20 megabytes raw file but the problem I, 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 I won't have the, the, uh, every option that I have my 10-20 millimeter lens for example the 7300 millimeter lens I am really so disappointed. But it, this is a camera that I have today and I have to try to make my best. I have here I think uh, 80, uh, 28 to 70 millimeter, something like that. But as I said the problem I will not be able to have all the possibilities that I have the, with my uh, Nikon D90. I will do one thing and I will continue taking photos. I am going to the car. I will put my bag and my tripod on the car because they are, as I said, unfortunately they are now useless. It was it was actually a beautiful challenge for me today. This is the first. I, I'm saying a lot of this is the first <laughs> today, but uh, I'm sure this is the first video on my YouTube channel without my Nikon D90. I'm really so sad. <laughs> but you know, as I said, this is the camera I have, and it was it was a beautiful challenge for me. I could, for example, when the card the memory card is not w w wasn't working anymore i could go back home without trying to take any photos and i would miss miss this beautiful conditions but i said to myself okay this is the camera i have 
and I have to try to make my best with this camera. Uh, yeah, as you know, maybe I would I, I wouldn't try to take photos when there's no raw file. But yeah, luckily there's raw file. I I changed from making videos to taking photos. I changed to manual exposure. Everything manual, raw file. Okay, maybe I will. I said to myself, I'll try my best. Maybe I will have photos. Maybe, maybe I'm saying maybe that are more beautiful than all my photos with the Nikon D90. I'm not trying to make less, for example, from to make Nikon D90 less, you know, quality or something like that. But because of the conditions, and the conditions are sometimes more, more, more important from the gear that you have. If you have the most, the best gears on the world, but you are on on a normal condition, you are on a boring place, for example, with a normal condition. That the, the, the gears you have are are not are not important at all. Today, I wanted to challenge myself because the conditions are brilliant. I, as I said at the beginning of today's video, I don't think I don't think I faced like these brilliant conditions. Frost. Uh, I think it's something like minus 14 and sun, blue sky. I, I, I don't think I don't think I felt something like that in my life. Or to be to be honest, it's not I don't think I'm sure I didn't face something like that in my life. I I'm really so so happy in today's video. I'm I'm happy to that the, these conditions are on Sunday. The, the most important thing. Because if these conditions were tomorrow, for example, as I'm going to work, I, I will kill myself. I really, I will kill myself. <laughs> so I'm really so, so happy today to be able to take photos of these brilliant conditions. I was talking a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing if you are not already. And see you in the next video. Bye for now. I, I can't feel them. Bye for now.